During Ramadan, the holy month when Muslim devotees observe a strict fast from dawn to dusk. The time between meals usually ranges from 12 to 15 hours, which can prove to be detrimental for diabetics, or people with uncontrolled blood sugar levels, who are required to eat on time. Diabetics must always visit their doctors prior to starting the fasts. It is also good to set clear guidelines or a diet chart to minimize any risk of blood sugar fluctuations. The treating doctor might also change the timings of medicine, as meal timings will become different. By eating just one meal in the day, one can shift away from a state of insulin dominance. Ramadan is a month-long fast, it is also equally important to think about what you eat. For diabetics, fasting does come with a few do's and don'ts. It's important to eat a low glycemic index meal. This means the meal should have a combination of proteins, natural fats, fiber, and cereals like rice, roti, etc. Nutrient-dense, slow-release carbs like lentils, stews, whole wheat food items, rolled oats, quinoa porridge, lots of nuts and high-fiber vegetables etc. are much better than simple or processed carbs like white flour high sugar drinks, chips, biscuits and so on, which can cause dangerous spikes. Avoid eating over-processed foods like maida, white sugar, bread, etc. The tradition of breaking the fast with a date is excellent for your health. After many hours of fasting, it is important not to shock the body, uh, and hence gut-friendly food like bone broth plays a big role. Before eating a big meal, having a mug of bone broth will help stabilize the minerals in your body. As much as possible, stick to lean meats and seafood. Ensure optimum nutrient intake during seri. Whole grain bread, whole grain low sugar cereals, beans, and lentils are recommended. Avoid sugary desserts. A small amount of healthy desserts, such as a piece of fruit is permitted or one can even have sugar-free and decaffeinated beverages to rehydrate the body. Give a gap between meal and sleep. Do not sleep immediately after dinner. Wait for two hours. Avoid eating complex carbohydrates before bedtime. Maintain hydration. By drinking enough water and non-sweetened beverages during or between the main meals. Avoid sugary drinks, syrups, canned juices, and fresh juices with added sugar. Avoid deep-fried foods like parantha, puri, samosa, chura, and pakoras. Opt for rice and wheat chapati, which contains starch, but at the right time. Avoid caffeinated drinks like tea, coffee, soda, as they are diuretic in nature in addition to causing glucose spikes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative or entertaining.